Good morning. Welcome to English 20-2. For those of you who are watching on the channel, this might not be of any use to you because this is an assignment that is specifically for my English 20-2 students in the 2012-2013 year of Livingston School in Ludbreck. Woo! Okay, now that the rest of you are gone. What we're going to be doing for this project is something called a day in the life. Now we've been looking at texts that look at the idea of um, different perspectives, looking at people's lives from different perspectives. So for instance, when we watched Last Train Home, we looked at the life of a migrant worker in China, in Gran Torino. We looked at the contrast between a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, who was actually a Catholic, and his Hmong neighbors. So we looked at those two contrasts. What you are going to be doing, 20-2 students, is a photography assignment. Oh, so good. Now, notice what photography is. Photography is, we're talking about, specifically talking about still photographs. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating a photo essay. Photo essay. Now you're thinking to yourself, oh, essays. It's not like that. What you're going to be doing is you are going to be documenting your life for one day from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. So when you get up in the morning, you take a picture of your room and you take a picture of yourself and you're going to give, this is the essay part, each one of your photographs is going to have a little capture at the bottom. Dalen's room. How I look when I get up. My typical breakfast. And that's it. If you want to include more captions, more explanations, you certainly can. But that's it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing a day together as a class. We haven't decided yet. I'm thinking maybe Thursday. I need to talk about technical equipment and all that as a class, but this is the assignment. So let's say it's Thursday. You're going to have your device. You're going to get up in the morning. You're going to take a picture. You're going to take pictures. You're going to come to school. Your teachers are going to know about this because you will have talked to them. During class, each class you're going to take maybe two or three photographs. The idea is to take more photographs than less. Take more because if you screw one up, you will have backup. You take a picture of the students. You take pictures of the teachers as they're talking, as they're teaching. No. You take pictures during your break. What happens in the end of the hallway down there when the teachers aren't seeing? You take pictures of what happens at lunch when you go to Obie's or whatever. That's okay. I'll answer questions later. So you do this. You go home. You do everything all the way to the end of the day. So what you're doing it's very similar to Last Train Home. In Last Train Home, we looked at a family over three years. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be showing us your life through pictures and through short captions just over one day. And that's it. And then you're going to show it to us as a class. We're going to go through it. Um, I'm thinking about... Damn it, sad. I was thinking about perhaps um, making prints and putting up in the hallway so we could all see your photo essay. Mm -hmm. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for your finished project should be about 30 frames, three zero. So that means that the number of pictures you take over that day, really, it should probably be close to 100. So 100, how many hours are you guys up? Like 10? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, what? I'm a bit early, I'm a baby. That's 18 hours. So that means you're going to be taking about five pictures an hour, okay? What? When you're awake. Five an hour. You might not use all of that, but. So that's the project, day in a life. You're going to show us how you live. Now, with the video on, don't, don't show your faces or identify who you are. Are there any questions? Yes, Gustav. Are you supposed to take pictures, like, after school? Yes. From bed, from bed, no, 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 don't just show Gustav's face. I can't Gustav, lose it. Gustav, want to be seen. Are there any other questions? 
Can I videotape the session? No, they need to be still photographs, um, uh, Ramon. Any other questions? Do you, get, do you get a camera? When's this due? Like I said, we're going to talk about that in a little bit, but I, the, it, we don't have to So we got to like, take videos of us singing in the shower and stuff? No videos, photographs. Or photographs singing in the what shower? We the we're just going to put them on like, a slideshow or something? For now. Yes, that's good. Oh. Any other questions? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Ramon. Can supply can cameras or do you use your own? We'll have to talk about equipment in a later class. Okay. I'm hoping that everybody here has a has a piece hey, shh, has a piece of technology available. Like for instance, um, um, Peter over there has got an iPhone, right? He can take pictures with an iPhone. What if someone's actually named Peter around the world? I'm sorry. What if someone's actually named Peter around the world? There's there are people named Peter. Yeah, but like you just said, Malcolm. There's no last name, so can I? They're all pseudonyms. Peter's name isn't actually Peter. Trust me. My name is Gustu. Any other questions? I am a German baker. Okay, <laughs> that's the project. Thank you very much. That's it. We're done. Irish or Roma? Not stopping.